Warning, this video contains extremely disturbing visuals of monkeys being used for painful experiments in the name of science. Viewer discretion is strongly advised for sensitive viewers and animal lovers. If our video is taken down for being too graphic, please watch it on our Telegram channel or Twitter account, links in the details. So at first I was like, wouldn't it be so cool and futuristic to have Elon Musk's Neuralink inserted into my brain? That way I could interface with computers and do some cyberpunk shit, you know, like Neo and Trinity in the Matrix. Can you fly that thing? Not yet. Operator. Tank, I need a pilot program for a B-212 helicopter. Hurry. Go. Then I saw how they tested Neuralink on monkeys. Then I was like, mm -mm, for tech, fuck that shit. How's it my ninjas? It's your homeboy Max Intite aka the Twani Gamer with episode 3 of Twani Gamer Reacts which is a playlist where I react to movies, books, games and pop culture news. Today's episode is about my fellow countryman Elon Musk who was born right here in Pretoria. Please watch until the very end to see what US rapper Kanye West has to say about him. It's totally hilarious guys. So anyways I decided to make this video cause local rapper aka was ass kissing Elon Musk begging him to fix South Africa's electricity crisis. Look, we have a, a big problem with our electricity supplier Eskom. We have scheduled power outages called load shedding and it interrupts our electricity supply. And we all see where AKA is coming from and there's also nothing wrong with being an Elon Musk fanboy but yeah, it looks like AKA will gurgle Elon's testicles like mouthwash but unlike Listerine, AKA probably wouldn't spit out the taste. And seeing as though some SAC libs think Elon Musk is South Africa's messiah who could solve our load shedding problem, I thought it would be informative to give South Africans an idea of just how unpopular he is amongst many powerful Americans. And I'm talking about upper echelon motherfuckers y'all, including former and upcoming US President Donald Trump himself. Elon! Nah, he's got himself a mess. You know, he said the other day, oh, I've never voted for a Republican. I said, I didn't know that. He told me he voted for me. So he's another bullshit artist. You see guys, Mr. Musk has a tendency of over-promising and under-delivering. Case in point, Neurochimp, I mean Neuralink, and his atrocious experiments on macaque, macaque, macaque monkeys, that, is that how you say it? Macaque monkeys to make this brain chip a reality. According to the Neuralink website and this tweet from Mr. Elon Musk himself, Neuralink is an electronic microchip inserted into the brain in order to allow persons with disabilities such as quadriplegics to regain mobility and type messages on electronic devices using their minds only. However, Mzanti Starboy, who owns majority shares in Neuralink but didn't actually invent the device nor has any medical degrees whatsoever, promises it can do way more than that. Okay, look guys, if you're wondering about Neuralink's ownership history, it's very controversial, complicated, and confusing. If you'd like to know about the nuances of Neuralink's ownership history, please click on the debunking Neuralink part one link I have provided. The purpose of this video is to ask people if they trust Elon Musk to put this device in their brain, not get into the ownership history of Neuralink. So, I mean, seriously guys, let's be real. Elon Musk is a glorified car salesman who dabbles in other totally unrelated fields when it suits his interest. He's not a doctor and the real doctors as in qualified experts in the neural interface field say Neuralink is nowhere near capable of performing what billionaire Elon Musk is promising us peasants. Here's a sound clip from Brazilian doctor Miguel Nicolelis, a well-respected pioneer in the brain computer interface or BCI field and runs the Nicolelis lab at Duke University, at Duke University, huh, Duke Newcomb University, nearly said that. And he's telling medical students over a video call exactly what he thinks about Elon Musk's competency as a neurologist. People like Elon Musk who has, has a faint idea where the brain is located. He barely knows where it is located, but he, he, he thinks that he knows what brain machine interface is capable of doing or not doing. For instance, I can assure you, you are not going to download your brain to a CD-ROM and give it to your mom or to your kids. You are not going to learn French by uploading French grammar directly to your brain. 
That's what he promised would happen. No, it's not going to happen at all. <laughs> so you guys, you guys heard it yourself from an actual qualified brain surgeon. Like Elon Musk doesn't even know where the brain is located according to his opinion. So why even let him put a microchip in your brain? And that's not the only, you know, certified you know, neurosurgeon who's come out against um, the Neuralink. Uh, a former employee of Neuralink, Dr. Tim Hansen, and please remember that name for later, told MIT technology website, it is still too early to test Neuralink on humans. So despite experts in the BCI field clearly disapproving of Elon's involvement, Musk went on with the animal experiment. So if you don't care about animal cruelty and you're one of those people who think there's nothing unethical about testing medical technology on animals that could benefit human lives, get a load of these leaked videos from Neuralink Labs, which show the excruciating pain and suffering the macaque monkeys went through as part of the animal testing phase of the experiment. Remember y'all, viewer discretion is strongly advised for sensitive viewers. Okay, you guys saw the video. Disturbing shit, right? Look, I'm, I'm not trying to like virtue signal as an animal rights activist. Some things are just too cruel to allow, even if it's on primates. But I do see where the scientists are coming from. So allow me to play the devil's advocate and say, in order to save human lives, sometimes you need to sacrifice animals. Or like one commenter said on Telegram, you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs. That comment was deleted, by the way. Also, vegetarians might argue and say, if you eat animal flesh and complain about the Neuralink monkey experiments, you're a hypocrite because all animals kept in captivity for food endure poor living conditions before being slaughtered for human consumption. Therefore, why criticize Elon Musk for animal cruelty while there's a dead animal on your dinner plate? At least with these monkeys from the 23 who are reportedly experimented upon at the University of Davis, California, 15 died and 8 survived. So 15 deaths to save potentially millions of human lives. Yo, I have a good friend who was born with muscular dystrophy disorder which has left almost his entire body paralyzed and if there's a chance inventions like this could save lives like his at the cost of a few monkeys one might argue that the ethical thing to do is sacrifice the monkeys i mean i did some research on macaque monkeys macaque monkeys geez, i always get that confused and i discovered they are actually the most common primates in the world so they're definitely not an endangered species and in japan people have actually built outdoor hot tubs for them so they can stay warm when it's snowing so many macaques actually live the good life in the world thanks to human kindness and they even fed sweet potatoes by Japanese scientists who study their behavior in the world. So in return for their kindness, is it really a bad thing for the scientists to use a few dozen monkeys out of a population of millions for experiments to save humans? So personally, I think it's a good sacrifice. But what I disagree with is influential people such as Mr. Musk with fuck all medical experience or qualifications whatsoever sacrificing these animals under the pretense of science because it's not fair it's not for science it's for their over inflated egos and it seems that is what Elon Musk is doing by over promising what Neuralink can do so that people can call him a savior on May 20th 2020 he went on the joe rogan show one of the biggest podcasts in america and said the chip can do multiple miraculous things such as bring sight and hearing to blind and deaf people if someone ultimately does get a neural link installed what will take place um so it could be something that uh, you know helps cure say uh, eyesight like give you returns your eyesight even if you've like lost your optic nerve type of thing 
Uh, I could really? Get, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hearing, obviously. Um, Are you sure about that? I mean, pretty much anything that w we're, that, that it, it could, in principle, fix almost anything that is wrong with the brain. Cure epilepsy, Alzheimer's, and strokes. It could just, it could just sort of stop the epilepsy from occurring. Like, it could detect it in real time and then fire a, a counter pulse and stop the epilepsy. If somebody gets a stroke, they could lose the ability to speak. Uh, the, that, that, also, that could also be fixed. So if you've got like stroke damage or if you get like, you know, uh, Alzheimer's or something like that, then you lose memory and th this could help you with, you know, restoring your memory, that kind of thing. Oh, and this one is my favorite. <laughs> Allow non-verbal communication between people with the implant. In other words, telepathy. I mean, you, you literally could fundamentally change the way human yeah. beings interface with each other. Yes. Yes. You wouldn't need to talk. <laughs> One day in the future, there's going to come a time where you can read each other's minds. Yeah. And well, you, you'll be able to interface with each other in some sort of a non-verbal, mm -hmm. non-physical way where you will transfer data back and forth to each other without having to actually use your mouth. Yeah, and make exactly. noises. Yeah, exactly. So one thing I noticed about that interview is that Joe Rogan didn't pressure Mr. Musk to elaborate more about Neuralink's features. He just accepted what Elon said at face value, which leads me to believe that Mr. Musk could have generously paid Joe Rogan to give him positive PR. The reason why I say this is because not once did they touch on the fact that Neuralink's competitors, Neuroport developed by BlackRock and Stentrode developed by Synchron, have already had successful human trials, respectively. I mean, BlackRock has been doing this shit since 2004, while Synchron had its first successful human implant on an Australian gentleman in 2020. This is a truly hands-free, brain-controlled platform. So Graham can right now surf the web, write up Word documents, check his emails, do basically everything that a person normally can on a computer using nothing but his brain and his eyes. Even now, I find it a bit mind-boggling that he can do that. I sort of got the concept of what they're doing, but how it's working, I still find it a little bit awe-inspiring, actually. And Joe just conveniently forgot to mention that Neuralink is actually playing a game of catch up. They're not exactly making history, which is the impression people get when they watch the podcast or Neuralink presentations that Neuralink, you know, is the only company, you know, that's pioneering PCI technology or, or brain chip implants, you know, which is false. They're actually behind other companies who are doing that. And as if that isn't suspicious enough, Mr. Musk said this miraculous device will have been successfully tested on humans within a year. So when I say, you know, we've got a shot at probably putting it in, in, in a person in, you know, a, a, within a, a year, I think that that's, a, that's, what, that's exactly what I mean. I think we, we have a chance of putting it in, put in someone and Are having, you them, sure about that? having them be healthy and, and restoring some functionality that they've, they've lost. So remember, the Joe Rogan interview was on May 2020, right? Instead, what happened is that literally a year later, on May 2021, one of the original Neuralink doctors, Max Hodeg. Hey, brother Max. You son of a bitch. Announced on Twitter that he is resigning, implying it is due to unrealistic expectations set by Elon. Could those expectations include giving deadlines that are impossible to meet? Hmm, I wonder. So it turns out the doctor who resigned, Tim Hansen, who I said you must remember earlier, was also right. Elon is over-exaggerating what Neuralink can do. But nope, despite warnings from real doctors, billionaire car salesman Mr. Musk, who owns Twitter, announced on his Twitter account that human trials for Neuralink will begin in 2021. It is September 2022. Still nobody walking around with Elon's microchip in their skulls. Oh yeah, and the Twitter ownership thing he was bragging about, he backed out on it, so no. He didn't buy Twitter like he said he would. Even Donald Trump roasted him for it. Elon, Elon is not gonna buy Twitter. Where did you hear that before? From me. From a fake account. She says fake, a lot of them. Nah, he's got himself a mess. You know, he's got a pretty rotten contract. I looked at his contract, not a good contract. So y'all, that's the video. This Neuralink saga is very convoluted, but fact remains, 
Musk promised the chip can do a whole bunch of cyberpunk shit. Real doctors are saying that's not possible. But Mr. Musk still insists on testing it on humans, except himself. Maybe because he isn't human. Maybe Elon Musk is a shape-shifting reptilian. Oh my gosh, call David Icke. He said human trials would be completed by last year. Still, nothing has been confirmed. Some animals have suffered and died slow, agonizing deaths because of his ambitions. And he has fuck all to show for it, except an able-bodied monkey playing Pong. Which makes fuck all sense because he said himself the device is to help persons with disabilities. So why not test it on monkeys with disabilities? Remember ninjas, Elon literally joked about buying English soccer team Manchester United on August 17th on Twitter. Of course it happened. I this nigga makes a lot of outrageous claims, which personally makes it even harder for me to take anything he says seriously. I mean seriously, if Elon Musk told me it's sunny outside, I'd wear a raincoat and an umbrella before going out, just in case. Anyways y'all, would you volunteer for the human trials of Neuralink? Do you trust Elon Musk enough to allow him to remove a piece of skull from your head? To insert a gadget inside your brain that will give you telepathy as he claims or would you rather settle on proven competitors please let me know in the comments don't forget to subscribe and like the only gaming channel in south africa making investigative content like this oh and remember it's never game over as promised let's see what kanye west thinks about elon musk elon musk i don't give a fuck who's over his house leave that man the fuck alone Leave that man the fuck alone. And the thing is they love to do, they love to talk shit. Ha, Elon's having a bad week. If Elon has a bad week, we have a bad life. Leave that man the fuck alone.